Welcome back to another video guys. In this video we're going to show you how to complete day two of the Battle Honors event. Day two is actually going to be revolved around building upgrades and to complete that we're going to be earning one point of building power as we upgrade our buildings and we also can earn points by using one minute of building material rushes. We'll pretty much be using those in 60 minute increments. Now if you haven't seen my previous video where we covered day one of the Battle Honors event which revolved around resource collection, make sure to check out that video because it definitely covers a few things about the baseline Battle Honors event itself. Now the most important thing about the building upgrades event is that you want to make note that you get 10 points per every one point of building power. And if you have additional bonuses you can see here that rewards earned from city honors research i have point rewards times two which actually means that i will be getting 20 points for every one point of building power and 30 points for every one minute of building material rushes so you need to do a little bit of math when you're selecting your buildings to upgrade and we'll show you that in just a moment also over here you can see that points earned from city honors research is also boosted by 200 percent for all missions increased building power by 100 percent and building material rushes also by 100 percent so essentially what that means is i have actually 10 20 40 points that i will receive for every one point of building power and 15 30 45 60 points for every one minute of building rushes and we'll actually demonstrate this by upgrading a wall and as always, remember that you want to line up your building upgrades with the jurisdiction events and keeping those in line with a theme for the Battle Honors Day. Now for this jurisdiction, I currently have the Urgent Construction Jurisdiction event where I can strive to reach 850,000 points to achieve the maximum 2,500 gold reward. This event's really nice because this is the primary event that you want to use to actually upgrade your buildings. As you can see, it perfectly matches the point system and the tasks that you're going to be completing for the Battle Honors, our Daily Arms event itself. Now, if we dive into jurisdiction, the reason I really like the building construction day is because we have stockpiling materials, which is really easy to simply use building material rushes to develop your concrete, your asphalt, your I-beam steel, your cement, bricks and your wood planks. Going back into the jurisdiction, the events for building upgrades are just really good because other than stockpiling materials, you have urgent construction and we also have exponential growth and each of those occur twice. So for me, I can upgrade two walls perfectly to complete the urgent construction events and I can toss in some additional walls for exponential growth even though I'll exceed those points because it only goes up to 425,000 or something like that. So let's take a look at my base. I have some walls ready to go. So on this left hand side, I have a level 47 wall if i click upgrade you can see that the power level of the building is 85,000 points now if we take a look at where i'm currently at in the battle honors event you'll notice that i have 577,000 points and 2.13 million city points so what we're going to go ahead and do is upgrade one wall and show you how the points are accumulated we're going to click into here we're going to see that i'm going to gain 500,000 wall hp I'm going to use 400 bricks, 265 steel, 232 asphalt, and 211 concrete, 31.3 million military funds, 37 million steel, 25 million oil. I'm going to go ahead and click upgrade. And as you can see, we can go into jurisdiction, and that perfectly completed my jurisdiction event. So I can go ahead and collect those rewards. And we go back into the Battle Honors event, and now you can see that my points jumped from 577,000 to 3.97 million. So again, the 85,000 building power was multiplied by 10 for every one point of building power, which becomes 850,000. And because of my bonuses, the points are then increased by 200% for all missions, 100% for increased building power. And then I have an additional point rewards times two. Essentially because of all my city honors research, my total points that I accumulated from upgrading one building with 85,000 building power points essentially yielded me 3.4 million battle honors points. So the recipe for success for building upgrades is to simply do the math and find buildings that you can upgrade that perfectly achieve both the jurisdiction events, whether it's urgent construction or exponential growth, and continue doing those throughout the day. I do suggest mixing in the stockpiling materials and 
completing that jurisdiction event if you have enough building rush to do so because it does alleviate a lot of resource usage since buildings are very expensive. If we go into my supplies and take a look at my rush, if you're consistently doing level four and achieving decent rewards, you should have an ample supply of three minute rushes. Currently I'm sitting on 52.5 thousand. I've got plenty of 60 minute rushes, but really the three minute rushes are the primary rushes that you'll be using. And if you're growing using the Battle Honors Daily Arms days as your themes, which you should be doing, you should always have ample rushes and you should never have to dip into your universal rushes, which pretty much for me, I save those entirely for tech research. Now, something I didn't touch on in the previous video covering resource collection is actually, I didn't go in depth on the city honors research. We touched on industry because that's extremely important for acquiring all five potential collection trucks, as well as boosting your collection speed bonuses. But city honors research is what actually boosts the points that you can earn for completing the different tasks as part of the battle honors and daily arms events. So the higher your city honors research is, the more points that you'll be able to accumulate from performing those events and the easier it will be to complete those events using fewer resources. Another key point about this is you do have to complete some city honor research to actually unlock the different tiers of daily arms at battle honors. Now, as newer players, you're familiar with what's called Grand Showdown. That's when level one, level two, and level three cities are still opening up. Once everything is fully opened up, you pretty much have the daily arms race and the battle honors repeating. They're basically the same thing. They give slightly different rewards. The nice thing about the battle honors event, however, is that instead of just city contribution coins, every third reward of each tier. So this, these first three rewards here are tier one. Then we have tier two and we have tier three. So I have these fully unlocked, so I can't currently show you the locked rewards that a player that does not have City Honor Research Max would normally see. But if we click on this, we can see that for Battle Honors, we actually acquire gold officer statues in addition to City Contribution Badges. If you're completing the normal Daily Arms event, those do not include gold officer statues. Now compared to resource collection, there's actually fewer tips that I can give for building upgrades because it's just a simple matter of basic math and resource management. However, what I can say is to achieve maximum success, just like I said in the previous video for resource collection, is things you really should not be doing during the building upgrades event. You really should not be using coupons. You really should not be upgrading your tech research and you should be doing exactly only what's necessary to complete the event to its maximum potential. If you are a free to play player and you are struggling to complete the events, you may consider doing only battle honors and skipping daily arms. It is completely feasible as a free to play player to consistently complete the battle honors event to the fullest extent every single time, which is twice per month, if you're saving up your resources properly. Now, I put a little asterisk at the end of that because I have had max city honors research for a very long time. I've had max industry for a very long time, but once you kind of get to a certain point, you should be able to complete those events successfully. The other advice that I can give is to upgrade certain types of buildings strategically. Overall, the best strategy is just to be selective and always do the basic math to complete these events. The one thing you want to avoid is actually upgrading too much and using too many resources, extending the amount of points that you achieve well beyond what's actually necessary to achieve the maximum reward. So for now, that's about as much as I can say about the Battle Honors Day 2 Building Upgrades event. I hope you guys enjoyed this guide and found it useful. As always, you guys are watching DX7 Gaming, and we will see you next time.